Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making meatball boats. Alright, I'm starting out in a large bowl. I have two pounds of ground beef. I'm going to add one egg in there. And I'm going to keep this recipe as simple as possible, guys. I'm not going to dice anything up for it. I might put some fresh parsley on in the end. I don't know yet. I'm going to put some onion powder in here. I'm going to go for about a teaspoon of onion powder. I'm going to put a teaspoon of garlic powder in here. And you could cut onion and cut garlic in, but like I says, I'm keeping it simple. I just woke up from a nap, I'm tired, and easier the better. I'm going to put a teaspoon of Italian seasoning in here. And don't mind me if I'm ranting on and whining. Now I'm going to add in about a quarter of a cup of Italian breadcrumbs, maybe a hair more. A little bit of salt. About a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to go ahead and mix this all together. All right, now that I have my ground beef all mixed up, I have a large baking sheet here with parchment paper on it. I'm going to make meatballs, and I'm going to make them the size of about the size of a golf ball. Now, when I get these all made, I'm going to put them in a 425 degree oven for roughly about 20 to 25 minutes till they're golden brown and cooked through. And the reason they're going in at 425 is because I'm putting some tater crowns in for a side dish. And that's what the directions call for the tater crowns. So we're going to keep it simple and keep the same temperature. So I'm going to get these all rolled up, get them in the oven, and when I pull them out, I'll bring it back. Okay, while I'm waiting for my meatballs to bake, I have another cookie sheet here with some parchment paper on. I have these French steak rolls. I sell them at Walmart. You see they're fairly small. I'm going to cut into them and cut the top out. We're making a little boat out of them. And I don't know how many of you guys remember when Subway first opened up. This is how they used to cut their hoagie rolls. They'd cut the top off. And you see how we did that? These I won't throw away. I'll dry out and I'll use them to make uh, croutons or breadcrumbs or something with. Now to that bowl, I'm just going to press it out a little bit. I'm going to take a slice of provolone cheese. I'm just going to lay it right down in there like that. Now I'm going to get all of my rolls ready ahead of time. That way they're ready when the meatballs come out of the oven. Alright, my meatballs are done. They just come out of the oven. I left them go for 25 minutes so they get extra golden brown. I was sure they were cooked through. Now I have a pan of pasta sauce where I had warming up on simmer. I didn't turn it up any higher because I don't want to get an Italian shower. No offense. I'm going to get my meatballs into the sauce. And then I'm going to put them on top of the hoagie rolls. And I'll bring you guys back after I get them on the hoagie rolls. Right now I have my meatballs on there. I spooned a little extra sauce on them. There's two meatballs per boat. I have some shredded Parmesan cheese. I'm going to go ahead and get these with Parmesan. And Dexter's happy because we're not having poultry. He doesn't know what that is. You know, the white meat. Good old meatballs today, Dexter. Yes, good old meatballs. So I'm just going to cover them all in some of this Parmesan cheese. looking good. Now I'm going to get these back in that 425 degree oven probably for only like two or three minutes just till the cheeses melt and then we'll pull these out. All right guys these just came out of the oven they were only in there probably for about two or three minutes. Now I'm going to finish them up by hitting them with a little bit of Italian seasoning on top. These are ready to go guys let's go ahead and fix up the plate and see what we got. I also went ahead and made some crispy tater crowns to go with that. I have a napkin ready here, guys. Let me get in here and give this a try. Got some meatball. It's really good. Tastes like classic meatball sub or meatball hoagie, depending on where you live. good hoagie roll it's not soft or mushy has a nice crust on the outside you get that cheese the provolone and the parmesan the good seasoned homemade meatballs nothing beats a good homemade meatball and you get that red sauce that's really delicious all right there you have it guys meatball boats thanks for watching and remember love what you eat and eat what you love